What's up everybody? It's Monday. It's week two of tax season. With that being said, uh, I've already worked two deals this morning, haven't sold any yet. And uh, basically what has happened, which is the thing that I've been most scared of, is that we have basically just almost have ran out of cars. As you can see right behind my beautiful mug, there is not a whole lot of cars on the car lot. And the cars that we got left, I got about two cars out here that you could buy for around 2,500. The rest are 35 and up. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's becoming to be a problem right now. Um, me and Mike Tyson have had two customers this morning. My customer had $2,500 cash. His customer had $2,800 cash. Basically this morning we have let go over $5,200 cash between two people that we could have gotten on the lot today. And both of us could have had a car sale and the dealership could have made a little bit of money. But unfortunately, you know, what do you do when you run out of cars? Well, I'll tell you what you do. Start buying cars. That's what you do. And sometimes you gotta dig a little deeper, pay a little more, but get us some cars. We need them bad, we really do. Anyways, but I can't control that part. I don't buy the cars, I just sell them. But you gotta keep, keep your sales guys fed. And with that being said, we are gonna go inside here. I'm gonna show you something that I'm doing right now. All right, hang on, stay with us. Oh, that call's not for me. We have done, I have done something amazing today. Done something amazing today. I went to the gas station and got me some lunch. I got some soul food from the gas station. There's a customer riding around on the lot. There's the car right there. What we're noticing right now, folks, is a lot of people are renting cars. They're getting rental cars with their tax money, and they are then going out and car shopping while having a rental car. That's what they're doing. I've had several customers that I've sold that have rolled up in a rental. And I'm like, man, y'all got a nice ride right there. I mean, that is something special, man. That new Toyota Camry looking good. That new Nissan Altima looking good. That Kia Forte looking good. Do you got the title to it? Oh, hell no. It's a rental car. But I get it, man. Get a little money in your pocket. Go get you a rental car. Oh, yeah. And then go out and find you a little cash car. Hey, what can you say? You know what I mean? Who gives a darn, man? Do what you got to do, man. If you don't have a car, you might want to rent a car and then go find a car. I'm just saying. But be careful, man. And rentals get expensive. But anyways, let's get inside. Let's check out the food. And let's see how this food tastes from the gas station. Um, the gas station is called Shaggy's. Because the guy that owns it, his name is Shaggy. And Shaggy has got some soul food at the gas station. So uh, anyways, we haven't stopped for an intro yet. Let's go ahead and dive right into this food. Stay with us. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. Let's see what this food is all about. Let's see what Chad got from the gas station, y'all. Ooh, wait. Man, this is gonna be yummy. Bum, ba, da, dum. What we have here, everybody, is we have red rice, okay, red rice baked chicken with onions and sweet potato let's see how it tastes all right everybody let's try out a little soul food today and see how it tastes right i mean we're getting real creative here on the videos i mean i'm just telling you man car videos are starting to get really creative i mean when we get down to doing food reviews on a car channel something's going on okay so anyways what we got here is we're going to get our spoon out and uh, get our fork. And first we're gonna try the sweet potato. See how that tastes. Let's give that a shot. Here we go, a little sweet potato. Pretty good. Sweet potato tastes good, guys. Then our red rice. Give that a shot. Tastes like red rice. Now for the chicken. 
of course they put the chicken right on top of the sweet potato man so when I'm picking up my chicken leg here I'm getting sweet potato all ooh and it's hot it's hot what's going on there's the chicken oh man it is scorching hot mmm but really good I'm gonna eat my lunch when we get back we'll find something to film Thank you for staying with me for a second there. So, I was just eating milk duds. You ever had a milk dud before? You know what I'm talking about. You will actually forget hitting the thumbs down button if you've ever had a milk dud before because you know milk duds, once you start chewing milk duds, they, they're, hard to, they're hard to stop chewing. So if you put more than three or four milk duds in your mouth at one time, it's like you're chewing for a good five minutes. But, today's video, we're going to be talking about a house mouse. You know what a house mouse is? A house mouse. What is a house mouse, you say? Stay with us, I'm going to tell you. So, we're here to talk about what a house mouse is. So stay with us. So what do house mouses like? They like cheese. So you may ask yourself, what is cheese in the car business, right? Well, let me tell you what cheese is for a house mouse. Cheese is a customer. Cheese is a car deal. Cheese is a sale. That's right. And here's how it goes. How does someone begin to be a house mouse? you say. Maybe you think to yourself and you say, I'd like to be a house mouse. Of course I would. I like cheese and I like deals and I like moolah, money. Well, you can be a house mouse. There's a couple easy steps to become a house mouse. Let me share those with you right now. Well guys, one thing for sure, you're gonna need to kiss a lot of ass. That's right, big ass, little ass, all asses. As long as you're kissing ass with the general managers, the sales managers, the finance managers, and in some cases, the owners. That's right. If you get good at kissing ass, you can bet your britches you're gonna become a house mouse. Now basically the long and short of a house mouse's life is this. They're hard workers, they come into work on time, they usually leave on time, or maybe sometimes they stay at work late. Sometimes they may have the keys to the store. Basically what it is, is it's kind of like in school when there was a kid in class that was the teacher's pet. So while I walk around on the lot right now and kind of get irritated because I'm watching a house mouse deal happen right here in front of me after standing my white ass out here all freaking day, not having hardly anything to sell because I've already taken at least four customers a day, each one having a ton of cash and sending them on their way. I've watched a house mouse come in and take a deal and now he's in the office selling the car. Well, one thing is for sure, you'll never be a house mouse with an attitude like mine, for sure, okay? Just saying, you know, you gotta be an ass kisser, super nice, and you gotta learn how to hold that goddamn tongue. If you can hold your tongue and basically kiss ass, you'll become a house mouse. But let me tell you something, guys and girls. Some of y'all people out there that might enjoy feeding the house mouse, remember this. At some point in your career, that house mouse is gonna turn into a rat. 
And then that rat will get eaten by a snake and turn into a snake. And then that snake might strangle you. So, learn one thing and learn one thing for sure. When you're passing out deals and giving cheese off to salespeople, well, I don't have an answer for you. It's something that's always done. Never been a house mouse myself, but one thing's for sure. No matter where I've ever worked, at a big car store, a little car store, or a used car store, there's always been a house mouse. We'll see you soon. Hey brother, I'm still eating milk duds. I'm telling you, man, give me that country accent that I've been looking for. Little this, little that, little cheese here, there. It looks like it's gonna rain back there at my house where I live at up in North Charleston. But I try, I'm, I know some of y'all say this boy's crazy eating milk duds while trying to do a car video. I'm starting to sound kind of like Tom. Anyways, forget it. What we're gonna do though, once we get done with these milk duds, is we're gonna. If you ever put more than three milk duds in your mouth at one time, you tell you cannot, you can't talk straight. We're gonna take a look at the. Let's get started.